And Chen said, even, the Lord said, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome, and today we celebrate Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, and we know that our Blessed Mother said yes to God's invite, invitation to be His uh, begotten Son. So let us come to our Lord, especially seeking our Blessed Mother intercession. May we always say yes to God's will. So let us repent and uh, ask God for forgiveness prepare our heart to celebrate the Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace be to people goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or, as, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. It is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, O Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, 
but ears open to the obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin, offering you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, neither, you neither desire nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this, well, we have been consecrated through the offerings of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Lord be the God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of English glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of English glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But, he, but she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit 
will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her. Who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, "Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word." The angel departed from her. Dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. From the very beginning, we know that God created man, and God gave man wisdom and a skill and a ability to communicate, especially a free will to respond God's、um, promise or God's call. We know that the greatest, the greatest gift that God gave it to us, that is a will that we can respond and. We know from very beginning what happened, and when God created Adam and Eve, said, "Do not eat the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden." But they did not listen. They did not respond with a proper way. That's why sin entered into the world. But you know, in the history of salvation, God never abandoned us. Never abandoned human race. He continued. Command. He continue communicate his love for each of us, and he want each of us to be saved. That's why it's so important for us to respond to God's call and to respond to God's com-、uh, commandment and obey His commandment. And because only in obeying God we can receive life, and we can receive peace and joy in our life. And that's a story of the human history. And in the Old Testament, we also know that when the people of Israel respond God properly, and they live in in peaceful life, and they also、uh, have God's blessing. But whenever they become rebel or against God, they will be in trouble. And today we know the greatest respond. Our, our blessed mother, that response is yes to、um, that call that God sent、uh, the angel Gabriel and、uh, told Mary that、uh, you going to conceive a son、uh, by the Holy Spirit and、uh, you will name him Jesus and、uh, he will be great and、uh, he will be the savior of the、uh, world. And Mary at that moment and、uh, she she、uh, certainly. Didn't、uh, fully comprehend what that mean、uh, to be the son of、uh, the mother of son of God, but、uh, even she couldn't understand and、uh, couldn't completely comprehend. But Jesus,、uh, Mary said yes to the Lord's invitation, and、uh, she became the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. And、uh, because she said yes. Then Jesus was born into the world,、uh, because、uh, Mary said yes. Then、uh, the salvation that God has pre- prepared for human race has entered into the world, and、uh, because Mary said yes, each of us can receive new life in Jesus Christ. So we know that great yes has opened the door of salvation for each of us. And that's why Mary is called Hail Mary.、Uh, Mary is holy, and because she is humble enough to surrender herself into God's hand, and、uh, she gave her life to God's plan of the human salvation. So we celebrate that great year today, and we we call the Annunciation of the Lord, because、uh, Mary said yes. So we know Mary's 
from the catechism. Her plan already laid out, and she is going to. She was going to marry Joseph, but because of that years and her life has altered towards God's will. So sometimes we make our plans in our life, but God has also His own plan for each of us. We shall always listen to that plan and listen to God's will in our life. Yes, Mary is the greatest woman that God has chosen to be a special person in the history of salvation. But we, each of us, is very special. Each of us is a、um, precious in God's eyes, and、uh, Mary was a、uh, chosen by God, and she had a special mission in our life,、uh, in her life. And also in our lives too,、uh, we have a special mission. At any age or any moment that God calls us to really fulfill that mission that God calls each of us to to do, so we first of all we have to listen to the word of God. If we just talking, if we do not pay attention、uh, to the word of God, then we will never hear. What was God's will in our life? So in prayer, we discern what is God's will for in our life, and also Jesus came, and He also called each of us, especially in the baptism. We also respond to God call. Yes, I will follow you.、Huh? Jesus called each of us, and we said, "I will follow you and become become a disciple of yours." But in that journey. We have to constantly、uh, listen and determine what is God's will, what is our will.、Uh, sometimes it's、uh, really difficult to go against our will, but、uh, just like Mary,、uh, we want to listen and we want to respond to God's will.、Uh, only because、uh, in saying yes to our Lord, then we know that we. Can find true meaning in our life. If we constantly refuse God's will, then we lose meaning, we lose peace, and we lose joy in our lives. So today we thank our blessed mother, and she is our mother, and she loves us so much. And if you come to her, meditate on the readings, enter into、uh, her heart, you can. Really feel the gentleness and the tenderness, and also her humility to saying yes to God, God's invitation. And we really appreciate her holiness and to follow God's will. So let us seek her intercession. And nowadays, everybody become rebellious, rebellious to become. A rebellious against our parents, rebellion against the society, and rebellion especially against God. And whenever that happened, and God's salvation can never enter into our individual life, and also in, enter into the society. And we, as individuals, as families, as a society, we need to respond to. God's invitation with a big yes, yes. I want to do Your will, not my own will, and not the will of the society or the evil one, and because there's a constant battle in the world. So Mary had to win the battle, and Mary had to say yes to the Lord. That's why the Lord can come, live among us. Let us、uh, imitate、uh, Mary's example, and always seeking God's will and saying yes to God's will. Then we hear nothing is impossible for God.
Let us uh, profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, uh, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come to our loving Father who always loves with us beyond all telling. Let us uh, present our prayer. Uh, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Let us uh, pray for the society and for all the government leaders. May they always seek um, to do God's will and to serve the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for our Mother Church, uh, especially pray for Pope Francis and pray for all bishops. May they imitate uh, our Blessed Mother's yes, and to God's will, and to bring the good news to all. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for missionaries, especially those missionaries facing difficulties in the third world, um, facing persecutions. May God give them strength and resolve, continue to work for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those people rebel against God, against humanity, and uh, those people who have hatred in the, inside of them. May God uh, make the conversion of them and come to know that Jesus is their only Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those people who are suffering and pray for the sick, and pray for those uh, unemployed, and pray for all the broken family. And may God, uh, through the intercession of our blessed humble mother, and to sustain them and bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for Bishop Wash, and he's in the hospital uh, because of an uh, accident. And we pray the quick recovery <laughs> for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, in Thanksgiving, <coughs> we offer this Mass for Mafinina and also for Audrey, Audrey Annette Beneficio. Uh, we pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. And uh, we remember all our beloved deceased. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Now in the silence of our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. For all the prayers held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Grace loving God, we offer all our prayers to you. Um, may you hear our prayers and uh, answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, a work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for praise and glory of God's name, for good, good of his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she, who is aware that her beginnings lies in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for, and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promise to the children of Israel may come about and that the hope of the nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, or who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mystery of the true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confession, 
that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man. We may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our message ended. Go in peace. Thank you all for coming to Mass. Have a blessed day.